Welcome. Thank you. To my humble abode. <laughs> uh, what do you think? It's cozy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's my little sanctuary. So, what can I get you? What can I offer you? Nothing. Uh uh, uh uh, nope. It's my birthday, remember? Today's my birthday. So, you have to drink anything with a birthday boy. Just that I don't do certain things while I'm on a job. Certain things like refuse to tell me your name? <laughs> um, just call me Sugar. Ooh. <laughs> mm, so sweet! Oh! <laughs> I love it! But you have to drink. Okay, I, I, I don't drink, but you have to drink. Something. Okay. Alright? Good, good girl. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oof. Mm. Sweet! <laughs> Sweet! Sugar. Sugar, yeah, it's time to go. Yeah, no, 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 uh, no, um, I'm awake, hi. Well, I called to inform you that our flight is by 2 p.m. 2? Today, I, I, I thought you said... I know what I told you, but my office called for my return, and moreover, hey, Mandy, stop that. I'm talking to your dad, you're distracting me, please. I want to talk to him, let me talk to daddy, please. Oh, God. Okay, I want to tell you my news, babe. I yeah, swear. yeah, but I, I... Your daughter wants to talk to you. Hello, daddy. Hi, hi, honey. I miss you. Can't wait to see you. I, I, I miss you too. I, I miss you too, honey. Satisfied now, madam. Hey, babe. I have to finish packing Monday's things. See you I, 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 love I, I, I love you too, honey. Bye. Now, is this a joke? Is this a joke? What happened? Are you pranking me? Wait, wait, wait. Wait. We came home. We spoke, we spoke, we spoke downstairs. We, you had a drink and. 
We had sex. We had sex here, yes. I admit, I admit we had sex, but do not stand. Why? Why? Why do I have my body? No, I, 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 no, I, no, I didn't. I didn't do this. I didn't do this. Who's here, please? Chris. Oh my God. Thank you for coming. What the hell, Jason? Who is she? What the hell? Is she dead? Who is she, Jason? Talk to me. Look, look, I, look. I don't know. Okay, I just. I just wanted to have some fun. It was my birthday. I was feeling excited. I just, I just picked her up and I, and I, and I brought her back. A prostitute? A hooker? Come on, you got to be kidding me, bro. Since when? Oh, after dropping me out of my place, you decided to go pick a prostitute and bring her into your house and you killed her? I didn't kill her. Okay, I swear to you, I didn't touch her. Then what is she doing in your bed? I mean, yes, I, 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 I brought her home. I mean, we. we Look, look, you have to believe me, okay? You have to believe me. I don't even know what to believe right now. Yes. What the hell do you mean you don't know to believe? It's me, don't you trust me? Should I? I mean, if I was told that my best friend would personate a prostitute, I would have defended you to the very last. But no, you did, Jason. You did. This is a mess. Okay, fine, you know what? It's fine. If you don't believe me, fine. I'm sorry I called you, can go out. Hey, 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 bro, calm down, calm down, Jason. Jason, calm down. You have to be straight up with me. You have to think what happened. I need to hear it. Look, look, I don't know what the hell is going on. Okay, I, 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 I picked her up. We, we came. I even cooked. Okay. I cooked for her. We ate. We had good conversations. You know, we spoke a little bit and then. But yeah, we had sex and then we slept. I woke up with her blood over my body. Was there any alcohol involved? Dude, you know I don't drink. She drank, I didn't. I'm just trying to cross the T's, Jason. You need to think. Think, Jason. I don't remember anything. I swear to you, I don't remember anything. I would I haven't checked out the windows and doors before I called you. And? It was locked, there was no breaking in. Look, look, Jason, I'm confused right now. I think the only way out of this right now is to call the police. What? W -w -w why? Police, why? Yes, we need to call the police because this is beyond me. There is a dead body lying in my bed with my DNA all over with her blood on my body. What more? Do you want police to, to use the convict of murder? What more? This is the only solution, Jason. What is your solution? I have no idea. No. I don't know. We're not calling the police. We're not. I'm not going to jail for something I did not do. Oh, I think your phone is ringing. It's not my phone. That's your phone. It's not me neither. It's over there. Hello? Let me introduce myself to you. Who's this? I am called Consequence. And I will be your worst nightmare. Look, whoever this is, I don't have time for this, okay? So please tell me who you are. And why, Hannah, why are you calling this phone? Hello? Look, I don't have time for this again. I'm hanging up right now. Put the call on the police for being a visit. I dare you. What did you say? Put on speaker, Jason. Who is that? Hi, Chris. Jason, who is it and what does he want? Who are you and how do you know my name? Now, isn't it ironic that you killed her, Jason, and now you have succeeded in making your friend an accomplice in your crime? That is not good. Well, not unless he is willing to give you up to the police and save himself. If not, the question will be, how would the both of you get out of this? Jason, keep the phone on you at all time. I would be in touch. Hello? Hello? Why are you looking at me like that? Look, don't tell me that you believe what he said that I killed her, okay? Because, because I don't know who this is. I, 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 I don't know how this phone got into my... My, my, my drama. I don't know. The, the question is, what does he want? Because he knows that she is dead, but she, he's not calling the police. Why? Oh, unless he, he wants something in return. Oh my God. 
Just see I'm finished. I'm sorry I called. I don't know what else to call, but relax. No one's going to jail. Please. Please help me dispose of this body. Why is he calling again? Coach, just tell her. Hey, honey. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll, 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 um, I'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I can't wait to see you. Too, yes. <laughs> yeah, bye, honey. Mwah. Bye. What is going on? What was it? Gosh, my family has brought it. Look at this place, for God's sake. I thought she wasn't coming back until weekend. I don't know how office called her. Look, you need to help me dispose of this body. Did you say disposed? Look, Jason. Don't involve me in this. I'm too young to go to jail. Chris, look, you are already involved. You heard what the guy said. Okay, it's either you turn me to the police or you help me out. The choice is yours. Fine. Let's say we do this. What next? Because we cannot just dispose this body in the broad daylight, which means we need a place to keep her on the ninth falls. And how do I know someone will not come knocking looking for her? Jason! <sighs> My family cannot see her like this. Please, we need to clean this place. I need okay, your help, okay. please, Chris. We need cleaning agent to help us clean this up. I have some in the, in the, in the kitchen, please. All right. <laughs> Now let's do this. Let's carry this. Oh, I was no. born in the thing. No, you have to. You have to. No, no, you carry that. Stuff. Okay, no, 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 do that. Is it not your horse? Why are you doing? Why did I tell you were doing this off? Was that what you were making love? I, 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 I don't know what you mean. mean. Easy. It was a nice girl. Can you imagine what you're talking about? I can't imagine myself doing this with you. I just wait, Jason. A nice girl, she's a nice girl. Oh, with wait. all this problem. Just, just move this guy. Stop talking. This is not me. Wait, wait, wait. Just carry on now. I'm coming. You're busy carrying on the bed and doing your rubbish. You, you, you have so straight now. You, you. Yeah, 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 messed up. If I tell you I'm not shaking inside of me, I'm lying. This act alone, concealing this body, Shh. if we are caught, we are done. Chris, there is no amount of grammar we're going to say to the police that will make them ask us to go scot free. What, what are you saying? Listen, no, we're, just, we're just talking about this. I just have to say my mind out. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry about all of this. If I, if, I, if I had my way, I'll, I'll turn back the hands of time. But we're here now. Okay? Please, just, just, just relax. What time is it? It's, it's almost 2 o'clock. I have to go. Please, then I will soon land. Listen, I have to go now. I'll see you later. Make sure you burn this clothes you're putting. In fact, burn everything you're wearing because you smell of that. All right? I'll make sure you act well before your wife. Okay? Fine, I'll find you. All right, I'll see you later. Let me walk you I was like, great, great. I'm, 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 I'm so glad you guys are home. <laughs> okay. Daddy, I miss home and I miss crunches too. <laughs> God, I love your ice cream. Now, madam, go to your room and go take a bath now. Okay, daddy, you're taking me there, right? Uh, yeah, of course. I'll, uh, but tomorrow, not, not today, tomorrow. Now go to your room. <laughs> <laughs> the 
I know you didn't cook, or did you? No, why? How am I going to get the strength to go into the kitchen now? Ah, oh, sorry. I, uh, I, sorry. I didn't hear. Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm fine. Don't. Don't. I, don't. I look okay. <laughs> are you doing really miss me? Come on. Of course I miss you. Then what are you waiting for? Kiss me. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Why are you calling my family is home? Save your strength, Jason, for the time to shout has not yet come. Yes, what do you want from me? Just tell me what it is. Is it money? I'll sell everything I have and give it to you. Please, just say it. Money? How much of it can bring back in this life you took? I'm asking you, how much of it? I didn't kill... I didn't kill her, okay? You hear me? I didn't kill her. You will be punished for your actions and that I assure you. Now, to the reason we're called. You see, Jason, the human organs take within 24 to 72 hours after death to start decomposing. Trust me, you don't want to find out what happens from the 10th day. And that is why time is of the essence for what is ahead of you. What, 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 what do you mean what is ahead of me? What are you talking about? First, you and your friend will not bury that body. You will leave it where you have kept it, behind your house. Until I tell you otherwise. Let's call it insurance. Look, listen, 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 just please, I'm begging you, okay? I don't know you, but clearly you know me. If I've offended you in the past, in the present, or if you feel I've offended you in the future, just say it, please, I'm sorry. Just, just let's end this game, please. Your daughter is coming, Jason. I will be in touch. I can see you're no longer hungry. Take it inside and cover. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Thanks for wasting my food. I'm filled, Mom. We're saying the same thing. <laughs> Pretzel? Watching your room. Thanks, Mom. I can't pretend everything is fine. What's going on, babe? Uh, no, nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Really? Mm. Is that how you want to play it? Babe, I don't know what you want to tell you. I'm, I'm fine. I tried kissing you because I missed my husband. And you ran out of the room like a mad person. That's new. And you say nothing's going on? First, you and your friend will not bury that body. You will leave it where you have kept it, 
behind your house. Your daughter is coming, Jason. I will be in touch. Babe! Babe, I'm hmm? talking to you! Who knows? He's watching me. <laughs> He's watching me. Look, dude, I messed up. Okay, I messed up big time. I lost my cool. Look, Jason, calm down. You have to tell me what happened. Where is it? Where is it? I was crazy. Jason, look at me. Are you sure you don't know this person? Was there anyone you crossed years back that you feel would want to get back at you? Jason, no thing, because this is not getting funny. This is not funny, Chris. I have a, I have a dead body in my warehouse. I'm losing my mind. I'm running mad. But if, 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 if Ella should find out, my marriage is over, like, my marriage is done, do you understand me? I'm going to jail! <sighs> so, okay, give it to me. Let me, let me. let me talk to him. Hey, 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 you, you, you listen to me. You son of a bitch. No, yeah, you listen to me. Who do you think you're playing games with? Who do you think you're playing games with? Listen, I will find you and I will make you pay for it. Yes. Number 74 in front of Jesus Close of Coca-Cola Road. White House. Black Gate. Black SUV. Plate number KUJ114ABJ. The next time you decide to talk to me, you better choose your words carefully. Else, I will pay your old parents a visit. One which they will not come out alive. And then, I will pay you a visit. And trust me, Chris, you will wish for that, but it will not come. So, I am going to make you a deal right now. First, you were not my target in this game. So walk away. Walk away and never ever interfere in my business with Jason Hensworth. Because if you do, then I will come for you. Now, give him the phone and walk away without a word. Do you understand? I said, do you understand? Hey, hey, hey. Yes, yes. What did you say? What did you say? Chris, Chris, where are you going? Chris, what did he tell you? Chris. Chris! Chris! <laughs> Hello? What the hell did you tell him? He will not be involved in this anymore. If you love him, you will make sure that you stay away from him. What, 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 what do you mean not involved? You should be grateful I'm letting him off the hook. He was never part of the plan. And now that he is out of the way, this is what I want you to do. I need you to confess everything that you have done to your wife 
and then show her where you have stashed the body. She needs to see you for who you really are, a heartless monster. And when your family is finally crumbled, then we are done with this game. Game? You go toiling with my, with my life again? Listen to me, I have not told my wife anything, do you hear me? My marriage will be over if I do that. This is your doing, man, and not mine. The moment you decide to bring home a prostitute, you got your family involved. So this is on you. My advice to you is the sooner you tell her, the better for you. Because the moment that body starts to decay, you are done and be advised. She must never, ever know about my existence. Do not dare to cross me. Else, I will take your daughter from you and there's nothing you can no, do no, about please. it. Please, don't hurt my daughter, please. Listen, just leave my family out of this. It's me you want, please. Look, see, I'll do anything you want, but if I tell my wife this, my life is over. I'll go to jail, my marriage is done. I'll never see my child again, please. I'll do anything except this, please. Well, going to jail is what you deserve in the end for the crime you have committed, Jason. Wouldn't you agree with me? But you never can tell what Ella's decision will be, can you? Now, come to think of it. I am curious. Will your wife lie to protect you? Or will she give you up to the cops? Hmm. I will be in touch, my friend. I will be in touch. I know what I said, Jason. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, what's wrong now? Why are you not calling me Jason Proto? Isn't Jason your name? Please step aside. Let's go. Mommy, why is Daddy not taking me to school today? If I get to that car before you. Bye, Daddy. Bye, honey. To know what he told you, please. Jason, leave. I do not want to be seen around you. You don't want to be seen around me? Me, Chris. Is that what he told you? Jason, please leave. Go, coward. Jason, how do you call me a coward, Jason? Huh? From here I'm standing, you are the one who slept with the prostitute and got her killed. And now you want me to help you to clean up your mess? No, I'm not that guy, Jason. You have to man up and take care of your responsibility, Jason. So leave! I have something important doing inside. Go, Jason, go! That's exactly what I want. Okay, so what about the other fabric? Okay. Baby, take it easy. That is coming. Just Okay, okay. No, no. You're going to use the black on the on the sleeves, okay? All right? Okay. So I'm going to transfer the remaining. I'll transfer Welcome, the remaining. Daddy. All right. Welcome, honey. Let me call you back. Mommy, is Daddy okay? I don't know. But don't worry, honey. I'll go and find out what is wrong with your dad, okay? Okay, Mom.
Do you know what your daughter just asked me? She said, Mom, is that okay? okay. And do you know what my response was? I don't know. But why, but why would you tell her that? Hmm? Hmm? Why? Even if I was not okay, but I mean, can't can you just cover me up? So you admit something is wrong? I'm not admitting anything, okay? Just. You got a new number. Why? No, um. It's. No, I didn't. Justin, take your call. I, I, I don't have to answer my phone. I don't, want, I don't want to talk to anybody. Who is she? Who's who? What are you talking about? You're not taking the call because I'm here. I don't want to. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel like talking to anybody. Look, you're choking me. Just leave me alone, please. Oh, I'm choking you. Jason, I travel for a few days and I come back to this. I'm ashamed of you. But you know what? Whatever this is, I'm going to get to the bottom of it. You know me very well. I won't let you go. What? What? Why? Why would you call me when you know that she's standing next to me? Why? Jason, tell your wife the truth and put an end to this. Face what you have done as a man. Remember, you brought this on yourself. Come on, sleep upstairs. Your neck is going to hurt you here. Come on. Come on. Let's go upstairs. Come on. Upstairs. Get your hands off me. Please call me. I need to know what happened.
Hi. Hi, Chris. You said you wanted us to meet. Yes. But then, I was wondering why I had to convince you for us to see. And why in the car? Anyways, I needed to talk to you. What is going on with my husband? Please don't lie to me. How do you mean? First, I thought it was cheating on me because I saw him with a new phone. And I clearly do not see a reason why he needs one. And then the phone rings and he doesn't want to pick it because I was there. I asked him why, but he shied away from it. Last night was the peak of it. I saw my husband staring and talking into an empty space, asking someone for help. I mean, my husband was literally asking someone to call him. What is going on? I am losing my mind. I'm sorry, you have to calm down. Honestly, I wish I have the answers to what you seek. But I'm sorry I don't have it. No, 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 Chris. No, Chris, don't say that. You and my husband are like brothers even before I got married to him. So if there's anyone that should know, it's you. My gosh, today makes it the third day. What do I do? The internal organs will start to decompose. In 10 days, the smell will be all over the house. How do I contain this? How do I get rid of the body? How do I come out of this? Jason, you need to think. You need to be smart. If he's watching me, then he can also hear my conversations. You can't hear what I'm thinking right now, asshole. Calm down, calm down and think, calm down. Where could the camera be in the sitting room? How did he even break into my house? How, how did he have the time to install cameras around my... What is that? Could that be it? I need to get close to know the kind of camera he's using. Oh, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? Diversion. Yes, I need a diversion. Do, do, do you know you're a coward? Do, do, do you know you're a coward? Huh? Doing, 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 doing this to your fellow man? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Is it, is it what you do for a living? Of, of, of all the jobs in the world to do, this is what you do for a living? Who, whoever your parents are should be ashamed of yourself. Huh? Why? Why are you doing this to me? What, what did I do to you? Huh? See, see, take care of jobs that you're living? Whoever your parents are, should be ashamed of yourself. Why? Why are you doing this to me? What did I do to you? What have I ever done to you? Why did you pick me of everybody in this whole world? Me, please. Daddy. What? Who are you talking to? Uh, uh, um. Uh, movie. I, 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 I was, I was, uh, I was rehearsing, rehearsing for a movie. What's up? Uh, you, you, you want, you wanna. You wanna watch, watch something? No. No? Okay, so, 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 how, how, how was my acting? Bad? It's pretty bad, actually. Okay, alright. Thank you, Mom, is 
I taking acting classes now? Mom? Yes? Uh, what is it? I asked a question. Uh, what question? Sorry, baby. My mind wasn't here. I said, is Daddy taking acting classes now? Acting classes? Why? Today, I saw him talking to the world like he was talking to someone. And when I asked, he said that he was reacting a scene he saw in a movie. And that sounded awkward to me because Daddy is a businessman and doesn't have time to watch movies. And now he's acting. Was that what he told you when you asked him? Well, I don't know. Uh, okay, uh, Mandy, it's getting late. Can I have my phone? I'm not feeling sleepy. Mandy, please, just, just go to bed, okay? And don't forget to pray before you sleep, alright? Okay. What is going on with my husband? Yeah, I'm coming. Good yes, day, sir. Yes, can I help you? My name is Toby, and I'm looking for someone. Her name is Sugar, and she's my sister. Do you know her? Just call me Sugar. Ooh. <laughs> Mm, so sweet! Sir, do you know her? Hmm? I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, do you know her? No, no, I've never seen that person before. Maybe it's wrong address. You can check, check over there, please. No? No. What, what, what do you mean, no? It's not a wrong address. What, what are you talking about? My sister. She's a hooker. But she is the only family I got. In as much as she hated the life. But that was the only means for survival at the time. I went to school, I graduated, all with her help. I've told her to stop before. She said, there's nothing more life can offer her. Listen, this is very touching, but I don't know why you're telling me this. Just listen. My sister, I owe her my life. And the only way I could make her safe is to always track her phone. Yeah, and this was the last known location before the signal died. Babe? Y yeah. Who's at the gate? Uh, uh, it's it's a, uh, a, 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 a Jehovah Witness. Listen, listen, I'm a married man with kids, okay? I, I, I do not defer to you. Please, let me come in. Check, 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 check someone else. Thank you. No, 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 I, I, I'm a bind. Thank you. Uh, this church people. I, I, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Okay.
Jason? What is going on with you? I have asked you too many times, but you have refused to say anything. I am your wife. And I Just leave me alone, please! Okay, leave me alone! Leave me the hell alone, please! I've been calling you, replying your text, not answering. I told you, and I made myself clear that this is your mess and I can't be part of it. I understand, I know, but there's nowhere else I can go, please. I need you. You're my only friend I have. Jason, I am sorry. I can't be part you of your phone. phone. What are you talking about? Track whose phone? Some guy came to the house. Okay. He said his name is Toby, that he's a prostitute's brother, what? and that. Protect her, he tracks her phone and her, and her location is at my house. Oh my god, what, what did you tell him? I told him that he was mistaken, but he didn't believe me. Jason, you have to leave now. No, no, please. You me. have to leave now, Jason. Please, please, please. You've always been the wise one here. I need you. I can't figure this out. Remember, you asked me what you told me on the phone? He knows where my parents live, he knows the car they're driving, he knows the plate number and even the color. And he said he's going to kill me and kill my parents. He's like bluffing. Bluffing? Look at you, Jason. Why are you acting all crazy? A man who had access into your home has all information about your home and mine? Trust me when I tell you, bluffing is the last thing on this table right now. Listen, Jason. I can't be part of it. I have to look after my family. Chris, Chris, Chris. I am sorry, Jason. Chris, just wait. Just you have to go. Chris, don't do this to me. You have to go. Go, Jason, go! Chris, Chris. Jason, please, just go. Jason, please go. Go, Jason.
Can you see? Can you see all this shit I'm going through? You wanna say nothing about it? Welcome back, Mr. Jason. Eh? What the hell are you doing, my house? Why are you doing this in my house in my absence? You need to calm down, Mr. Jason. Who the hell are you? I have to calm down in my own house! I am Detective Sierra, MSPD. Detective, man, eh? what's, what, what's it all about? A complaint was made by Mr. Toby here that your house happens to be the last known location of his sister, whose name is Sugar. She works as a booker. He gave us evidence of the tracker. My team analyzed it and see it to be true. That's the photograph. Do you know her? See, first of all, if this complaints. Why am I not invited to the station? Why are you badging into my house like this? Is that you do your jobs? Secondly, as you can see, I'm a married man. Happily married man with a child. Of all places, look for a hookah. It's my own roof. I know my own roof, look for a hookah. See, this makes no sense to me, so please, just, just leave, please. Thank you. Madam, you have been quiet. Is there something you want to say? No, she has nothing to say. Can you leave her out of this? I am not talking to you, Mr. Jason. So please kindly let your wife speak. Madam, is there something you want to say? Did anything happen? Or did you notice anything? Maybe. Have you been home or true? Do you know the name? <sighs> Madam, my husband has just spoken to you. So please leave. I've been keeping quiet since. And this whole thing is getting on my nerves. I don't have time for this drama anymore. Sugar! Sugar! Don't take one more step. You don't have a warrant for search. So please leave my house now. Mr. Toby, we can't conduct a search without a warrant. And as it stands now, it is officially a case of a missing person. A proper investigation will be carried out. And as for the warrant you asked for, Mrs. Jason, you are going to get it. So stay put. Don't leave town. Let's go. Please help me make sense of this. Jason, I'm talking to you. Look at me. If there's anyone that can see right through you, it's me. The moment you refused to kiss me, I knew something was wrong. But I asked you and you denied. You avoided it. Even your daughter noticed, but yet you said nothing. I could clearly see the fear. Even the anxiety when the detective was here. Jason, I know you. I know you're hiding something. But it's just the two of us here. So please don't lie to me. Was there another woman in this house when I was away? Baby, please. Please stop. Just stop, please. Why, Jason? Just begging you, please, stop asking me this question. Why? Because I don't want you to be involved. You are my husband. I am already involved. So answer the damn question. Do you know her? Yes! Yes, I know her. Jason, you brought a prostitute into our home. Am I not 
good enough for you. No, baby, you are. You... No, am I not good enough for you? And now she's missing. What happened? Our house is our last known location. What happened? Why can't they find her? Answer me! Because she's dead! I think I killed her. You, you, you did what? Baby, just, baby, believe me. Okay, I, I, I don't know what's going on. Okay, I... I brought her home. I brought her home. And, you know, I... We... We did it, and... And I woke up the next morning, her throat was slit. There's blood all everywhere. Blood on me. Our kitchen knife was there. I have no memory of this. I don't know if it was an accident. I was sleepwalking. I'm still trying to make sense of all of this. Oh my God. Oh my God, Jesus. I traveled for a few days. What? It's crumbling. What did you do with the body? No, baby, don't ask me. What did you do with the body? I put it in the warehouse. In a warehouse? In this house? Jason, there's a dead body in our home. Oh my God. Oh my God. Baby. Oh my God. I've never done this before. I've never cheated on you before. This is just one night of... I was just excited that I... It's one wrong decision. This is one wrong decision. I turned my life upside down. My, my work, my business, my family, please. I'm sorry. Jason, I cannot spend one more night with you under this roof. We're leaving. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. There's nothing to figure, Jason. This is done. Do you even know the gravity of crime you committed? Mother, I'm concealing the body which I know by now will be decaying. And do you even know what you're asking me to do by staying? Become an accessory to murder. We can both go to jail. If this case is charged to court and our daughter will lose her, don't be selfish! No, listen, listen. I, I'll tell the judge it was me. I had nothing to do with it. Please, I need you. But I don't know now. And if my testimony is proven to be a lie just to protect you, I can be charged for perjury. And that is 14 years imprisonment, if not for life. Justin, I need to protect myself and my daughter first. Okay? So I would advise you, get a good lawyer and turn yourself in. Ella, please. I wish you best of luck. Ella, please. Ella, Ella please.
goes to hell, will you still be my friend? Face to the sea, back to the What do you want? You win, your plan has worked. Okay, my life is over. Please, just, just leave me alone. Please. Hi, Jason. You see, for every action, there is indeed a consequence for it. Like you said, one wrong decision has led you to this very moment, and you have no one to blame but yourself. But I find it very fascinating how the human psychology works. I told you, that you will pay for the crime you have committed. Well, technically, you didn't commit any crime. I did. What? What are you talking about? You see, Jason, in this life, there are two kinds of people that exist. The hunter and the prey. And in this situation, I am the hunter and you are the prey. And for every hunter, what we do is stuck the prey. What are you? Jason, Jason, Jason. What are you doing here? <sighs> I can see you look surprised. Come, come sit with me. Relax. You see, Jason, every hunter stays hidden for as long as possible while they approach their prey slowly. And when they see a weakness, he attacks. You have no idea how long I've kept an eye on you and your family. Yeah. Foxville Park. Where you normally take your family to every Sunday to hang out. Hmm? You see, Jason, my friend, let me advise you. That was your first mistake. Never, ever frequent a particular place. Otherwise, you become an easy target for whosoever wants you down. Now, I was there one of the Sundays to hunt. When I come across you and your family, I listened closely. I watched you, how you composed yourself, how you guys talked, almost like a perfect family, with so much joy and happiness, flawless, and that I have attained for. So I took interest in you, and I followed you home. Now you have no idea how long I have kept a close eye on you and your family for months now. Why? Why? What did I ever do to you? Do not speak unless you are asked or otherwise this meeting will be a very brief one. Do you understand? I said, do you understand, Jason? Yes, yes I do. Good. Now one of the Sundays you took your family out, as usual, I broke into your house. Well, I came through the back fence. I needed to be sure there weren't any CCTV cameras in this house. And so...
time I returned, I came back with what I needed to open the doors. Trust me, I am pretty good at what I do. And so I installed the cameras. And then the show began. And all I needed to do was just to sit by and watch and wait for you to make one wrong move. So time after time went by, Jason, and there was nothing I could use against you. Nothing I perceived to be a weakness. And that I found very strange because every man has his own devil. Now this is the most interesting part of this story. Just at the point, we're not about giving up on you and move on to the next target. Boom. There you were, talking to a prostitute. I know. I was there. All the way from the club to Chris's house. I was there. And you know what? Later that night, I came visiting. So I killed her, and I made you believe that you killed her. It was fun to watch you suffer, Jason. Why? Why did you do this? Why did you have her killed? Come on, Jason. What do you think? It was for my own viewing pleasure. It was fun to watch you suffer. You know, in this life, my happiness comes first. Now, I owe you an apology. You see, in this life, if there is a next one, now you know that our actions have consequences that pave the path upon which we walk on. Just the way you have walked through this one. But I'm sorry, my friend. Your journey has come to an end. Next life, I, I don't understand. Why do you think I'm here, Jason? Why do you think I showed you my face? You've come to kill me. Well, not you, technically. But your wife and your daughter. And then frame you for their death. But luck shined on you, does she? She left even before I made my presence known. That move, I did not anticipate. You see, Jason, when the hunter strikes, he always come to collect his prey. And I'm sorry, you are the only one left. And you have to die. Do you understand? <laughs> Collect his prey. <laughs> You're here to kill me. Go ahead, do it. What do you think I'm going to beg you? You've taken everything from me! You, you son of a bitch! You psychopath! Who shuts your mouth? What is it? I am not a patient person. Do it! Do it! Look at you! You're damaged! You think you want to see your mommy? Or your daddy? Or, or, or what? Or what a woman? Huh? What is a woman? I am warning you. Bitch, I'm a, ter I'm a, bitch, I'm a, a terrible childhood just going around ruining people's lives because of consequence. Who in the right senses call people consequence? 
to shut your mouth, Jason. Pull the trigger! Do it! I tell you, do it! I said pull the trigger! You're the man of God! How has the mighty fallen, O oh, great consequence? Or should I call you Peter? Why do you look shocked? You think you will be invincible forever? Now take a good look at me and tell me who I remind you of. Look straight into my eyes. Very good, now tell me. You can't recall, can you? So let me help you. Fifteen years ago, you broke into Mr. Rotimi's house, installed your cameras, frustrated him, used him, and destroyed his home. Then killed his wife and shot the daughter, who luckily survived and notified the police. The court found him guilty of manslaughter and attempted murder on his child and sentenced him to life imprisonment. They said he was mentally deranged. He died three years ago in prison. But that is not how I remember him. He was a good man, a wonderful father, a kind-hearted man. That is who you took from me. I was only 13 years old and I swore that a day would come you would face the consequence of your actions. So I decided to join the force and became a detective. I followed up on your case for years but you were always a step ahead of me. I lost sight of you, not until you picked Mr. Jason as your new target and this time around the hunter became the hunted. Mrs. Jason, please come in. So sorry. I what's going on. I know. It all began when I, I went to see Chris. It's obvious you don't want to say anything. I mean, I wasted my time calling you out. You can go. Have a nice day, Chris. He needs you. Who needs me? He needs us. Otherwise, he might end up in jail. Jail? Who would end up in jail? Jason. Jason? What happened? Okay. What I'm not sure of is we don't know if actually Jason has a hand in this because he can't even remember. A prostitute in my home. Murder. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can someone just wake me up from this dream? Please, put yourself together. He doesn't need to know that you are aware about this because we don't know what the voice can do. So what do we do now that he said you cannot intervene? I mean, what kind of a human is this? What does he stand to gain in all of this? I mean, how can someone not be safe in his own home? First, we need to be sure if Jason has a hand in this. 
But if he has a hand at this, then we, there's nothing we can do about it. We can't help him. I think I have an idea. You know, I, I, I know of a detective that helped a boss of mine in the office. A police? What do you want to say to them? The truth. Look, Chris, if Jason actually killed someone, I can't cover it up. Else I'd become an accessory to murder. And I can lose my child. I just have a strong urge that something is not right. I mean, I know my husband. He may have made a mistake, but Jason is certainly not a killer. You know, we can actually get a good lawyer to fight this case. Are you sure this is a smart move? Yes, I'm sure. I mean, if there's, if there's a boy in the house, then Jason is running out of time. If we are doing this, then I have to take my parents out of town. So I contacted Detective Toby, who introduced me to Detective Sarah. And as long as you have it, she already had a case on him. The day I met her was like God sent me an angel. Once again, I have sight of you. I know how you operate, how you think. You wanted him to tell his wife what he has done, and your next move would have been you revealing yourself. Kill the mother and child, then frame him for it just like you did to my father. So I, dis I devised a way to get her out, and since I know you love drama, I decided to give you a show. Detective Toby showing up at the gate and posing to be the brother of the deceased. We showing up in the house was just so I can plant this little camera. Here. You know, I know your type. You think no one can see through you, but you are wrong. Look at you. You stink of guilt. What, what did you say to me? Please leave my house before I, before I deal with you in this place. You think I need to have your badge? I will deal with you. Come on, leave my house. Yeah, that's the man speaking. Soon, we will find out what you have done to her. You will find out nothing, okay? I don't know what you're talking about. Now leave my house! And what will you do? What? Please go out of my house! What will you do? Ah! Ah! Can you stop that? You touch me! You, you, you're hiding my sister for days now. You think I'll keep her? I don't want your sister! Come here! Leave my house! house. I said enough! Look, you don't know me! There's you nothing you can do. I'll, I'll speak to you again! You can't! Leave my house, please! Come on! So please we go. need to go. Let's go. She assaulted me, oh! Did Surprised? Mm. I knew the moment she leaves, you will come for your last prey. So we let wait for you in the car like the hunters talking as prey. Watching. And boom, here you are. I have everything on record. And I tell you this, you will pay for the consequences of your actions. Toby, cough the bastard. Hand him over to the team and get me an ambulance here. Ah! 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 Move!
sorry about that. Um, the both of you will have to come with me to the station to give your statement. Okay. 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 Mr. Jason, I know this is none of my business, but you have a good woman here. Keep her close. See you both at the station. You've suffered enough. I forgive you. thanks to your wife. She's indeed a very strong woman. She is. We actually spent the night at his place while the cops waited in the car. Come on, what's that? <laughs> Come on, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, guys. Thanks, fine. I'm, I'm sorry for putting you through it's this, fine. honestly. It's it's all fine. of you. It's okay, Come on. I still blame you though for taking me out that night. It was his fault. I didn't want to go anywhere. It's fine, it's fine. Come on. Can I get that kiss now, please? <laughs> Since when do you ask? Come here. <laughs> oh gosh, guys, come on! 